Travelling on dual carriageways or motorways are normally very relaxing, but we will need to concentrate when leaving the fast moving flow of traffic if we are to keep safe. We must plan our exit, position our car in the correct lane and then slow the car down before approaching the next junction. If we make a mistake during this process, we may put ourselves in danger. So in this video, we will show how to leave dual carriageways safely. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you are alerted when we upload a new video. Also, we love to read your comments, so please scroll down and let us know what you think. We must plan well ahead for our exit, as we will need to get our car into the correct lane in good time. If we are using a sat-nav, then this will be easy to do, but if not, then we will have to keep a lookout for the correct road sign. Once we are within half a mile of our exit, we position the car in the left lane so we are ready to take the slip road. We indicate left at the 200 yard sign so other drivers know what we are intending to do. But we don't start slowing down yet as this could impede following traffic. If there is a choice of lanes on the slip road, we would normally take the left lane initially and then get into the correct position before approaching the next junction. However, if we know the slip road is fairly short and we are about to turn right, then we could leave the dual carriageway straight into the right lane of the slip road. If we need to change lanes on the slip road, we always use the MSM routine to ensure our safety. Once we are in the slip road, we cancel the indicator straight away as it could cause confusion if we left it on. Even if we intend to turn left at the next junction, we prefer to cancel the indicator, wait a little, and then indicate left separately, so that following traffic know that we definitely intend to turn left. Once we are on the slip road, we start braking gently, then firm up the braking force to smoothly slow the car down. We try to use the whole slip road to slow the car down evenly, rather than brake late and hard just before the next junction. The benefit of this is that it is a lot more comfortable for our passengers, reduces brake wear and ensures we don't surprise following traffic. If we need to signal where we are going, we usually indicate about halfway along the slip road to give plenty of warning to other drivers, especially if a lane change is needed. Next, we need to select the best gear for the speed we are at as we approach the next junction. We usually use the block change technique for this as it's easier to change directly to the gear we need and miss out any gears in between. In this case, we select second gear to approach the roundabout carefully and then continue with our journey. Let's watch this slip road once more without the pauses. We signal left, choose the left lane, cancel the indicator, start braking, signal left again, 
and then block change to second gear. Let's watch as we use three different slip roads to leave this dual carriageway. At this slip road we need to turn right at the next roundabout, so we decide to enter the slip road in the right lane, as this is easier than changing lanes on the slip road. The second slip road has a bend on it, so we reduce our speed and change gear before we steer to the left. This will keep the car in balance and reduce the chance of losing control. This last slip road is much shorter than usual, so we have to brake much more firmly than normal to reduce our speed in time before we steer around the tight corner. So remember to get into the left lane ready for the exit. Choose which lane to take on the slip road. Cancel the indicator and brake progressively and approach the next junction carefully. If you found this video interesting and would like to be notified when we release the next one, then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please click the Patreon logo to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.